Bridgerton, A Queen Charlotte Story, just came out today, and we just watched the first episode. We're going to tell you what we think. This is the bar is low where we rate, review, and recommend TV shows, movies, and everything about love. So, if you would like to see more, like and subscribe. <laughs> I really, really love the characters that they chose to be the younger version of Queen Charlotte, Lady Danbury, we already love as like adults. Right. So to see the younger them and how they embody these older people and there's like no question about who's who, it just fits. I thought the same thing. I felt like they chose such good people and they even talk similarly to mm -hmm. them. Like I would be like, that sounded exactly like Lady Danbury. Yeah. So automatic good start, start of a good series. I'm ready. Right. Because I feel like if you mess that up all, right away, you're like, well, this person doesn't remind me of them. It's like, you know. Even the side characters. Yeah. The, what's his name? Yes. A few moments later. That episode where Violet goes to the queen's house mm -hmm. and she's like, Brimsley. Oh, that's where his name, right? Yeah. Like, you can see like this character really evolved from this. Cause I feel like when you're doing a, a spinoff that's like a previous version of mm -hmm. these people, it's harder than if you were to do an older version of those right. people. That's, yeah. That's who they grow into versus who they've grown from. The new young actors probably heck a study them in the show yeah. to like learn their mannerisms right. and everything like that. I feel like that'd be interesting as an actor. Right? Because they have to take on the energy that that person brought to that character. Yeah. It's like layers so of acting. Yeah. Not only are you acting like a different character, you're also acting like another actor, acting like that character. Yeah. Like, levels, so you know? kudos yeah. to the actors. Already episode one, they're smashing it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just like you are. Mm -hmm. I like what? <laughs> <laughs> the other thing that I really liked was the split timeline. I feel mm -hmm. like it was such a good idea to give us some of the current, present Bridgerton people. Mm -hmm. Cause I almost was like, dang, I'm kind of going to miss them. Mm -hmm. You know, or not even kind of, I was definitely going to miss them. <laughs> And then when they threw that in there, I wasn't expecting that because they hadn't had that in any of the previews. And I never even knew the queen had kids, Bruh. let alone 15. 15? $40. I didn't yeah. know that. They never like hit to that. And she looked great, right? <laughs> she completely snapped you can back. Her she snapped right back. And I just thought that was really funny, the way that they like, how they have her kids acting kind of. Like it's like, what were you doing? I'm kind of curious to see how it evolves with how she acts with her kids. She's always trying to match make everybody, but then somehow- and None of her kids have matches. Right? And how is she not on them? Like she's yeah. on everybody else. She's literally on everybody else's head. So how did that happen? And then also seeing how Lady Danbury, she's a widow now in current Bridgerton time. But back then you see her with this old, disgusting, old, nasty man i was so sh do you you see my hands look at that that's, that's the shock. disgust disgust the shock the horror anger the anger <laughs> denial the de <laughs> i am not burning for that love story no and no. she is clearly not burning for him either bro let me tell you <laughs> <laughs> bro i was like Ugh, like i'm sorry i'm really not trying to be rude to the actor because I definitely think they added to his face. Just his whole vibe is just nasty old sugar daddy like. Very nasty. <gasps> yeah. <gasps> and that really is our main criticism of episode one. <laughs> our main bad. Because I really did need that nasty sex scene. Yeah. I could have done without it. It made me... It definitely adds more to your disgust of him though. Yeah, it's true. And... It does add also to who we know current Lady Danbury to be. It's like, no wonder this woman doesn't take anything from anyone. Yeah. Because she's like, listen, you don't know <laughs> what I've been through. <laughs> I didn't put up with enough. Okay. <laughs> and I have already reached my limit. Yeah. Like, freaking 50 yeah. years ago. So, yeah. And her also seeming like so much wiser. Yeah. And she's obviously the same age as. Oh, yeah, because right? she's like, I always I've thought she was older. Yeah, 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 but like, I didn't realize that they had so much grown up together. Right? Yeah. Me either. Like, they actually was friends. Yeah. It also brings up a lot of questions for me, too, though, because I could have swore that Lady Danbury said that she had like this great love story as well. Like, she had a, a love of like a true love. Okay, she right. She either told that to Daphne in season one or she told that to uh, Kate. In season oh, two. Oh, yeah. There was like a discussion about okay, that. Okay, didn't she? Right? Viewers. 
Did she? <laughs> no, I feel like I truly remember her talking about she had like a, a true love. Right. And that's why she never married again or like Oh yeah. Doesn't have a partner, right? Okay. So who was it? Because I it's a clearly not this man. Are we finna get a love story out of them? Is they, they gonna be <laughs> They're a slow burn. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh, I can't. Also makes more sense, like, why she's just kind of been doing her thing mm -hmm. for so long. It's like, well, he probably died, like, yeah. what, not that long into the marriage because right. he was very old, it looks like. Right. And she looked very young. Oh, you know what that just brought me to think about? I'm excited because we might actually even get to see Simon's mom. Oh, yeah. Main that's... question, why was George acting like that? <sighs> why? So weird. What was going on here? Because he spent all this time and energy being like, I'm just George. Just call me George. I do apologize, Your Majesty. George. Just George. George. And making her feel all comfortable and being like, oh, you're so beautiful. And, and acting like he wanted to have a real marriage. Ask me anything. What do you want to know about me? Blah, 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 blah. It's your choice. You can go over the head. You're not, or whatever, whatever, and on and on and on, just to get married and turn around and act like that. Please tell. I do not need to do anything. I decide. I have decided. I am your king. He did a I am your king. 180. I'm your king. We're gonna live these separate lives. What's going on here? Are you a snake, or is there some elaborate reasoning that you're just not telling her? Because I know I do love to read a Regency romance novel. So. If you do too, drop a book in the comments. <laughs> but um, they always have stuff like this mm -hmm. where it's like, oh, actually, my sister was a bastard and I had, she's hidden away, tucked away in the country, and I visit her every Wednesday. And that's why you think I've got this big secret mistress and I'm just not telling you because I think I can't. And it's like, just tell her, okay? Just tell her. Is there gonna be some kind of secret, like, actually, he's a good person for yeah. this reason? Or is he scared? Or is he having some functional difficulties? <laughs> that's that's the main <laughs> things that came up for me. Because like obviously we see how their story end up. Right. You end up having fifteen kids, so it's not and serious. It's the great love. Yeah. Is he a racist snake? Are you like holding like them type of feelings? Because obviously like your granny and whoever that other old man is got some issues. Right. They talking about how dark. Charlotte is and treating her heck yeah. crazy. All different other types of people. I feel like them panning to lots of people, like yeah. making little faces, negative type of yeah. vibes, vibes, vibe. like, not good vibes, bad vibes, it's bad vibes. early days, but bad vibes. Yeah. All the black people are surprised that they're even invited to the palace. This is not a thing. So, how does that take play into his relationship with her? Because obviously, it's a huge shift for everybody, right? So then it's like, why is he acting like this? And then why did you act like you were all nice? Yeah. And now you're acting all weird. Yeah. I mean, we're going to keep watching. We're going to find yeah. out. But it still remains a question. Right. As and we then watch. why are they doing this now? What's the intention behind this union in the first place? Because another surprise, I didn't realize the Queen Charlotte was from Germany. Yeah, right? They went way out to Germany. Like, how did they even find her? Why did they choose her? Why me? He could have anyone. Anyone. And yet they came hunting all the way across the continent for me. There is a reason for it. Like, how is this? How is this all happening, and why? Yeah. Like, is it snakish intentions? Is right. It... Because even the brother, like, she, like you. I know this is bad because you won't even look at me. Right. Since we found and out. And then the way he acts afterwards too, when he's so saying goodbye. Weird. He flipped the switch. He flipped. He did a one eight. Acting all like, oh, your Majesty, ma'am, like not even giving a regular family yeah. goodbye. Leaving your sister with this random man, random that people. she just like a whole castle full of random people, and you're just not even gonna say anything like comforting or like yeah, it's just, or like why would you leave right away? Also, yeah, but what, what is the major out? bad thing that she needs to be careful about? What is the reason? Because even Lady Danbury come up to her like, bro, be careful, right? Be careful for what? Like, be careful bro, what? they're hinting at. Some huge storyline of something being bad. Right. And is that just like his family? And he's just a part of that, but he separates himself? Like, what does this look like? Right. Okay, That it does seem like they're doing something. Yeah. And is he going to, like, break the mold? I feel like they're setting something up like that. Right. But it does seem like everybody kind of knows something that Charlotte 
doesn't know and we don't know. Yeah. And it's I'm, like, I'm I want to know. Find out. We definitely keep watching. If you watching the show, comment below. Tell us what you thought. Don't leave no spoilers if you binged. And then let us know, like, do y'all like episode by episode reviews or should we do the full season? Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe for more content. The bar is a <laughs> <laughs>